what's up guys what up what up what up all right so next game we'll look at um uh, mikhail tal uh versus uh tigran petrosian both of these guys are greats they are legends all right mikhail tal is playing the white pieces and uh petrosian the black pieces now you might be wondering by now why i keep looking uh, at tal's games i mean there are many uh, examples good examples of these centers from other grandmasters and other top players but the reason why i chose uh, tal is because tal is an aggressive player is an attacking player and if you still recall when we started this series i spoke about in chess only the attacker wins and tal is a perfect example of that he's not gonna disappoint he's always gonna be on the attack most of the times so this is why I'm choosing most of his games as our um, studies. All right, so let us dive right into it. Okay, so again, our theme opening, the Royal Lepers. Okay, so this guy played bishop to b7. So the first two games, um, we looked at the closed center and then we moved to the fixed center and we saw how Tal was dealing with all these different types of centers. All right, and I'm hoping now we will come across, a, we'll have a different type of a center and see how he will handle it. So this is kind of standard, all right? Black captures, Tal goes queen captures, h6 exchanges he attacks the pawn it's not easy to uh, defend and actually i don't think it's possible to defend it i mean you can try with queen b6 okay you could try with queen b6 but after maybe queen to d2 um the pawn is lost all right but uh knowing tell he most probably won't even go for um queen to b6 I mean, uh, uh, queen to d2. I think if black is to play queen b6, Tal might even go knight f5. All right, which I think offers very good chances um, to white. Okay, can't really capture here. Because of this, maybe check first, and then check first, and then queen captures um, the knight. All right, so I think it's a waste of time for black to try and uh, defend uh, this pawn. So let us see what uh, black played in this position. So before we go any further, after rook takes d4, I want us to take a good look at the center. Our central squares, e4, e5, d4, d5. How many pawns do we have in these central squares? I see only one. And one pawn or zero, uh, makes up an open center and uh, what are we ought to do in an open center focus on the big pieces so this is exactly what i want you to focus on let us see if tal and petrosian are going to be focusing mainly on moving their major and minor pieces very little of pawn moves let us check it out starting now so what does uh, tal play I mean, um, a Petrosian plays queen, that's a big piece. Tal goes queen g5. I think he's threatening to play knight f5 um, with the possible uh, capture of the d6. I'm not sure if you play that, but it's actually quite possible that after d6, knight captures, rook captures the pawn to e5. Um, attacking both uh, the queen and the knight. All right, sorry. So it's here after queen g5. White is possibly trying to play the knight to f5, attacking the queen. So let us see how um, black defends the position. Rook c5. That's a big piece. White goes to queen e3. Again, we're still focusing on the big pieces. Rook to c4, offering an exchange. Okay, white accepts, knight to e2. Now, that um, pawn on e4 looks uh, poisonous. 
to me. All right. I think if Black was to capture it with either the knight or uh, the bishop, it would result in material loss for Black. For example, bishop captures, knight attacking of the rook, and maybe, maybe f4. Okay, this could, I think, um, get a white uh, material. Okay, that, uh, black is definitely losing uh, a piece here. So let us go back. If what black had kept it with the knight, again, uh, same thing, I think. Knight, kind of forced, a four, and black is forced to run away from there. Protection of the knight with the rook, which will lead to white capturing the knight and thus gaining material. So that pawn is, is poisonous, all right? Black cannot capture it. So what did black play? Black played queen to c7, knight to d4, and white is still focusing on the big pieces. All right? Queen, um, rook to e5, knight f3, attacking the rook. Attacks the queen, back. Attacks the bishop, and he captures the bishop. Now, this is very risky. White continues knight to d4, and at this point, it's not advisable for black to capture the bishop because of knight. Captures the rook. That will um, uh, be good for white, because white is going to gain material there. So what does black play? Black tries knight to d5, attacking the queen. Then white simply captures his pawn. So now the position is equal in terms of material, but still white, uh, black still has, needs to be precise here because his rook is under attack and uh, he needs to be careful where he's going to place his uh, rook next. So he moves to d6. White offers an exchange. So with this exchange, black is not going to be able to move the bishop the next move. For example, if black is to capture here, this is simply winning material for white. So bishop takes e4 is not good for, the bishop takes b1 is not good for black. All right, so what is black going to do? If black tries to capture, again, this is not going to be good because it leaves the black bishop in danger. All right, so when black moves his rook, he's going to lose the bishop the next move, for example. And this is winning for white. So what must black play after queen c6? Black played knight f6. Okay, it's a kind of slick move. It's kind of cool move. Why? Because by moving the knight, uh, this bishop on e4 is now threatening the queen. All right. And even if queen is to exchange here by playing, for example, let me just uh, play the moves. So queen. This way, black will be able to save his bishop. And it's not that bad for black. Actually, he has some good chances of making a draw. This position. So what did white play in this position? White simply captured uh, the pawn on d6. And now this is very, very difficult uh, for black to defend. Now I'm thinking, what was wrong with king g7? What was wrong with king g7? Because in the actual game, black did not play king g7. Uh, black played rook e6. I don't know if he, whether he missed this one or it was just a pure mistake, pure blunder. I don't know. But what I do know is it's very difficult to, de to, to, to defend. It's more difficult to defend than it is to attack. All right. In some cases, 
if the guy had been pressured for the last five or seven moves, it becomes very difficult for them to see a simple moves. Like in this case, Petrosian, former world champion, he played rookie six. Okay, of which it was just made by Nitex E6, and he resigned. All right, I'd like to think this was a result of pressure. A result of attacking. This is why we encourage people to attack. In chess, only the attacker wins. Because it's more difficult to defend than it is to attack. All right, guys, but let's just take a quick look here. What was um, white going to play if black had moved his king to g7? Was it going to be any difference? Are there going to be any difference here? I don't know, guys, but uh, we are not going to look at it now. But maybe f3 would still have given uh, 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 black a hard time. All right, because now the bishop cannot move because of uh, rook captures. So I can understand how black ended up playing rook to e6. All right, so that was our game between Mikhail Tal and Tigran Petrosian. A quick recap. All right, let's have a quick recap. So, again, after this position, this position became open. It was an open center. Now, what I want you to do is to focus on how White started to play from this position onwards. He was just focusing on the big pieces to the very last move. Watch. Big piece. A big piece. Big piece. Big piece. Now big piece. Big. 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 Right. Still. Big pieces, big piece, see, big piece, and big piece, and black resigned. Guys, I hope you're getting it. When you do have an open center, try to focus mainly on the movement of your big uh, pieces. All right, thank you so much. Let us take a look at the next game uh, that we have also on the open center. <music>